this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and I haven't been crafting so much I've been organizing so I figured I would be bringing you along and show you what I've got going on it's a mailbox from a fire station all of these little sorting sections to put things in obviously envelopes and mail type items fit in there really well so I'll show you what I put in so far I figured out that I can get two piano rolls in each slot the boxed one so that's good and that is about all that's left of my piano rolls that I'm selling. I really sold a ton, so thank you everybody for that. And I've got all kinds of stuff in here. So I've got anything kind of long and skinny. These are Trivia Pursuit cards. Uh, I had some grommets, some little leather envelopes. Down here, I've got my long belly bands. I can fit three loose piano rolls in there. Uh, my, my label maker next to that. Down at the bottom on the right, I have wallpaper borders, so I think I'm gonna put those in there. I've got zippers, knitting needles. These are brochures, maps, and postcards. I've got my duct tape and my packing tape. So I got a lot of good stuff in there. I displaced my rubber stamps by doing this. So I'm just gonna walk around and show you what I got. Oh, I guess I can show you from here. Yep, so that on the other side over here, do do do. That is my rubber stamp storage, and it used to be for my beads. So I got a new storage container for my beads. It works really good over here because I can't really have anything with any significant depth to it. And that was pretty narrow depth, so that worked out really well. And next to it is my stencils, my doilies, and my scoreboards. It's like anything for measuring, cutting, that sort of thing. Got a little work to do, but having a lot of fun and I think this is these are really good practical solutions I, I made some changes last time that I wasn't really happy with so now um, much happier with the direction this is going so this is my guest room and it has a little bit of craft supplies in it too Shh, don't tell anyone okay well anyway <laughs> this is my bookshelf down here doo, doo, doo. and this right here is my new shelf and man does it hold a lot of stuff holy cow i just love it um i think i'm gonna make some drawers for it although right now it really it, it these spaces are like the perfect container or size for my my jars so that's working out really well i have all my beads fit in here my jarred beads anyway and then i added some of my other beads or not beads uh jarred items like uh you know tiles you know chips uh, game pieces and things like that so there's some goodies i got all kinds of stuff thing my my son made when he was a kid this is like m-o-m -M. now he's 18 so i guess he's not a kid anymore that's sad it's a little sad that they have to grow up but anyway, uh, these are shell beads, beads, these are little stones, I think, and I use those for fairy houses, but yeah, th loving this shelf, and on top of it, I got a piece, I have a piece of my artwork uh, that I made, it's like a collage mixed media, so it's like paper collage and acrylic paints, and the flowers are fun, because if you look at the flowers on this, they're like paint but then also collaged flowers on there too so anyway that's one of my favorites well i could probably i could either put another piece of artwork up there or maybe add another shelf i don't know i haven't decided yet it's on the list oops i just ran into something this is working out really well i've got my i've even got extra space for books so while we're here i'm just going to give you a quick peek uh another peek at my ephemera storage secretary i don't know they had this like hanging on the wall i've sort of done a prop up deal i don't it's it's uh it's weirdly propped up i just, i can't remember if i got it free or i paid a couple bucks for it so it but inside look at this it's like a real secretary dun, dun, dun. and i just put these in because i i had them left over from my uh, trivia pursuit so i'm gonna make these i'm gonna cover them with paper make those into pretty little drawer poles and then that's the rest of the area this is my finished ephemera that i'm keeping in here i've got a little shelf space on top of it 
I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I do have a lot of jars hanging around and uh, I don't really have a good place for my jars. I used to have a jar shelf, but don't have that anymore. So that might be another good place for jar storage, the larger, oh, you can see in my closet, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and some of my messes. Uh, but these are my organized areas, sort of. It's a, it's a work in progress, so I'm working on it to get that, and I'm excited about that piece because I just love looking at it. And it's got a little area here where I can pull it out, and it's got this nice, beautiful wood surface, so I can take photos of the items that I make. And it's perfect because I bring them over here, and before I file them away, I take a picture of them, put them oh, in their spot. Uh, just in case you're curious <laughs> this is what i've got going on up here i'll start at the top i've got a bookshelf up there uh with some of my older books that i some that i'll keep and some that uh, i may sell uh these are just storage of craft supplies that i don't use that often and they're all in closed top containers which i've found isn't ideal drawers really work best that's my biggest tip that i've discovered in this whole process is nothing works better than a drawer i'm telling you because <laughs> if you have to take something out of this thing so i have to take everything off of on top of it and then take that thing out you know open it up get the thing out close it up put everything back in the shelf so you know, it's just a good lesson that drawers for everything. So, yeah, but this, as I go to further down, uh, this is some of my, uh, so this area is uh, in a work in progress. And this is a, a paper sorter. So they've got little shelves in there. And it just, it all had to get taken out. I almost moved everything. And so I was trying to uh, take it all out and then decided against it, which I'm glad I did. So this is uh, yet to be organized. So that's another work in progress. And then down below is fabric storage. So I'm thinking this is a really nice paper sorter, but this is sort of the fabric area. So it just makes more sense. Uh, you can't see it, but in between behind this pile right here, the dividers that the paper sits on, I actually wrapped fabric around them. That part behind this pile looks really nice, but you can't see it. Over here, stuff just got, you know, put there. So this is my desk <laughs> right now. It's pretty messy, uh, as you can see. <laughs> but it is coming along pretty nicely as far as organization goes. I've got my glue here. I've got my tools here. I've got my inks along here, um, glue sticks. And then uh, I think I showed this real quickly before, but it's expanding, ever expanding. I've got this little container and I've got ephemera in these little drawers that I use frequently, like uh, people, birds, design, and that's tape at the top. Uh, charms and then the other drawers have yet to be decided over here I've got my scrap paper that have been cut down so they're you know it's it's good paper but it's just smaller than a drawer and my stapler my stamp chucky I got this acrylic one I wasn't I I got it for like a dollar so I couldn't hardly I'm gonna go in a little closer it's like a little acrylic one with drawers so it's got all those nice drawers you can see through it and those are my uh, like silk flowers artificial flowers to put together so that's pretty nice this I think I'm gonna leave this open because it actually works really well for me to put stuff there that goes on the other side so it the storage is on the other side of the shelf or in this other area so I just set it on the shelf when I'm done with it. And then when I get over there, I take that stuff and I put it away in that area. So that works out pretty well, actually. So I, it's nice to have a little area where I can set stuff. Uh, and then my jewelry box, which I think I talked about before. And if you can see this, uh, I did paint it the way I kind of wanted. The top drawer is all butterfly stuff. The 
<clears throat> left drawer is flowers and the right drawer is mushrooms and I have to I'm such a visual person if I can't see it I have to have it there so and then also just kind of scanning over this is like the back of a dresser I have this container which is my ephemera to put away in my ephemera area and then this little jewelry box I'm loving jewelry boxes right now because you can get them for under usually under five dollars and even if you pay 10 for them, the, to get the, the nice wooden drawers, it's, it's, I'm really loving that at like rummage sales and stuff. So bottom drawer is tiny flowers, uh, stamps, and frames. And the frames are from my digital collection of Victorian frames, and I use those pretty frequently. So, and just because apparently you have a really good shot of it, my this is what I use for tags, uh, the the tie at the top of the tags. That's all my my yarn ribbon for that. So yeah, this is it's actually working out really well. I think someone asked me this, so I better tell you. Uh, it's it is messy and hard to see, but there are drawers down here, and if you want to know what's in the drawers, tiny stamps. I can't remember if I shared this or not. Middle drawer is extra tape. And the right drawer is ink, sponges, pads, that sort of thing. Mostly I have all those in a drawer because they're kind of ugly to look at and they don't, you know, stack or anything very well. So, and then on the very right hand side is ribbon. So I just keep random lace. I meant to say lace, that's lace. And the left side, apparently I just don't know what to put in these because I keep changing it. I think now I have like some kind of tool. Oh, I have some frequently used decorative scissors because it is kind of hard to get stuff out of there in that corner usually because I have stuff stacked in front of it. So it's things that I probably don't want to be using on a regular basis. And I just keep like using little areas. Like now I'm using my, this area. <laughs> There's like a little tiny, area between there and I started using that for my cutting mat and that actually works really well because <laughs> it's in arm's reach. I like everything to be arm's reach and visual and all of these solutions are for that. I don't think there's anything else I've got going on as far as organizing goes. I hope this helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas. If you have any questions about anything that I have for storage, go ahead and pop the question in the comments and I'll answer it usually right away. So I guess I better get to organizing. Uh, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.